Okay, finally got down to the front part alone being what's left for sanding and polishing. Flip this over and show you what it looks like at this point. It's really come out far better than I thought it ever would on from what we started with so can't argue with that now as far as our repair here you can slightly see where this has shrunk now if you notice in the other videos the clear coat it didn't show up the primer it didn't show up and the black it didn't show up the only thing I can think of is when this, this clear coat cured, it shrunk and started pulling or putting pressure, pushing it, pushing it down on uh, the rest of it. But uh, still, that looks freaking awesome. So I'm gonna get get to doing the front part here and and. Uh, Got pickups on order. Talked to Mr. Bill Taylor at uh, Sonoma for get us uh, yeah. Bill Taylor's guitars to get a set of Sonomas made for this. So they are in the process and uh, should be about uh, ready for them to go in by the time I get this all cleaned up and finished. Got to do the do the neck and the fretwork and then start putting all the hardware on. So, I'm going to get to going on the sanding. Yay. All right, here we are. Got the, the top all leveled out, and we're on to the last part of the, the polish. And I figured I'd get some video before it, uh, before it got too dark out here. But I've only got from here up to do. And as you can see... That has turned out freaking crazy nice. <laughs> yep. All done by hand. Can't wait till all this is done, man. The sanding and the rubbing. But still got more to go. Still got to do the neck, the frets, and all that stuff. So, we'll move on. Just a quick update. Next time you see this, I'll have the hardware in. Except for the pickups. And we'll see what we look like from there. Now, let's see how good we did. Those are the clouds in the sky right now. Wait for the sun. It's just about ready to pop out from behind those clouds. But, yeah, buddy. That has come out. Phenomenal. So let's flip this over and get ready for the sun to come out. Don't mind the fretboard. I haven't haven't done any clean on it since I started the paint work and the stuff like that. So it's it's due. But you can see the clouds. Kind of hard to see white clouds and silver paint, but there it is. So now we're down to polishing the polishing the frets, clean up the, the fretboard, and I think we're about to get some sun in here, so we can really. Huh? Now we got some sun. Let's see what she looks like now. Maybe we get some, get some shine and some reflection. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. So I am totally stoked at how this came out, considering what it started with. 
Yeah. Now we get this will be totally blinded. We'll start work walking our way back. There's the reflection. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, needless to say, I am quite proud of this one. Can't wait to get it assembled and bring it to life. All right, welcome to today's project. Um, starting to fit everything in here. I'm working on getting the... Uh, Control pot, uh, potholes uh, fitted correctly. I didn't realize there was that much difference between the shaft on those TB uh, kit electronics to the borns, but this is where we're at. This is how we're doing it. I haven't, I haven't uh, bought any any drills bigger uh, for for Lizzie. I have a three eighths Forstner bit that I used since that was a fresh hole obviously you can't use that um, on existing holes so this is this is my hobby for today the rest of the hardware pretty much go in easy as pie and the only other thing to do is fit the uh, pickup rings to the body since that shape has obviously changed <clears throat> let's see I got this one right here so yeah there's a there's a bit of a uh, rock in those same that one's that one's not too too bad so anyway there's a little bit of custom fit in there so but as far as the holes, this is this is my only method for doing this right now. So I'm do a little bit, show you a little bit, and so I don't bore you. I'm not going to do the whole thing. And just basically take a half round file. I've got my finger to the depth I want, so when I hit the hit, hit the body, I know exactly where I'm at. And I got my second hand, so I don't end up pulling out of the out of the hole and then stabbing down on the on the body with the uh, point of the the file. And then every once in a while, we we'll go through and widen out the the area around the hole so we're not chipping anything all right so managed to get the, the frets polished and uh, starting to rub in the, the oil on the uh, fretboard after I I'd scraped it all down with a razor blade you can feel you can feel some roughness in there but man rubbing that oil in with 1500 grit that is just silky silky smooth all of those so, getting closer and closer and closer to finishing. I'm going to work my way up to the end here. And I'm just going to scrape the binding again, clean that all off. And then I can put the covers on and the tuners in, and it'll be a guitar. All right. Frets are all polished. Got the uh, oil all done on there. Now it looks like a fretboard, silky smooth. There we go, now the sun's starting to come out. Catch the angle on it, yep. So yeah, that's that's in good shape now. So now all I gotta do is, is go through and scrape the, the binding again, get that all cleaned off. And then I can finish up on a headstock, start mounting covers, 
put the uh, tuners in, glue the, uh, the nut back on. Progress is progress. But right now I'm going to go in because the sun's starting to come through on this deck and getting hot again.